And hello there guys, welcome to a new playthrough. I'm actually a bit late with this because I'm recording this on the 1st of November, which means Halloween was yesterday. <laughs> so, anyway, better late than never. So it's a, uh, you can tell from the title, it's a creepy game with a cyberpunk style to it as well. So I thought it would be an interesting one to go through. Um, it's a 2D kind of side-scrolling game with a lot of um, kind of adventure puzzle elements in it I think and I know this game caught a bit of controversy for the main character having a kind of exaggerated chest <laughs> um, but I don't really care about that stuff I'm sure you don't either I'm more interested in whether this is a good game or not so let's um, have a look on the settings <laughs> V-Sync I put that on, that sometimes stops um, screen tearing. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much what it sounds like. You get these little lines on the screen and uh, you get it on uh, PC. It's not really a thing on console because they're already set up and everything. But on, on some PC games you do get screen tearing, so try V-Sync. Or try messing around with your graphics cards. Um, settings. So there's a few more V-Sync options on there sometimes. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into this thing. I did have a little play, so I kind of know how the game works. Um, standard new game offers unlimited quick saves and auto save points. Sounds good. Alright, we go to controls, left, move, yeah, seems pretty standard, um, inventory, interact, uh, flashlight, that'd be good if, I'm sure there's some dark areas on this game, mini game, what does that mean, speed up mini game, I'm sure we'll find out. Neo Hong Kong. Well, let me try and get my mouse off the screen. No, wait a minute. Just a second, folks. I need to. Uh... It like locks up sometimes, and my mouse gets stuck on the screen. It only does it on some games, but. Not sure if you could hear that. That one just my phone going off. <laughs> Got some text messages. Um, what what was that all about? That nightmare was surreal. Oh, why is my mouse there again? I might unplug it. See if that gets rid of my mouse. There. Uh, yeah. It's all right. I can. I can just plug it back in when I end the recording. To actually get off this game. Kiko, she's the most famous pop star in the world and a local girl to boot, even if she's a hometown hero. I definitely prefer bands like Gastric Twirl. Sorry, Kiko. Yeah, so she's a like her. Singer or something. No, so it's got quite a cool style. It's sort of like anime, kind of very like Japanese style. Uh, what is that smell? It's coming from the bag. Could have anything in it. I won't go fiddling around with bags that you've just found. Oh, wait, there's something else there. Not a scratch. Shiro Tech makes pretty pretty great stuff for an evil one percenter megacorp. <laughs> Took me a bit to read that. It's got like a bit of a slang to it, like there's a bit of a swing to the uh, text, to the dialogue. Guess I still need to wait, wait a bit. 
Now, arriving at the old International District Station, please stand clear of the exits. Trying to do like a train voice, train announcer. I should be good at that because I've been riding on trains a lot these last eight weeks or so going into town. It's normally a female voice actually on our trains we've got here in the UK. Um, head to go home or head towards Oasis. Mm, I think we should go towards Oasis. Alright. So our heroine is called May. Whoa, she's got big bazungas. Is that what you call it? She looks a bit like, um, you know, Overwatch. Diva, she looks a bit like that. I suppose Diva's sort of got like a cyberpunky design to her though. She has like a headset and cool outfit. Hey, keep moving. I don't need any unauthorized live feeds going out. Everyone that mattered is that piece of something. Move along, ma'am. Please, let us do our job. We are just trying to keep you people safe. Okay, didn't mean to get in the way, so sorry. So, there's something's been going off, I think, tonight. Do, 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 do. I like music. It um, sounds a bit like Deus Ex. <coughs> For this many rounds fired, this guy must have been dangerous. I'll have to remember to check the BBS when I get home. Alright, let's continue down the street. What's a kid like her doing out this late? She looks like a girl I know. What was her name? Panda. No way they're related. Panda. Dumb kids, everyone knows that these AR games are just a fad. Plus, you can't even touch the waifus. There we go, folks. <laughs> without the stupid expensive neural uplinks, AR is basically just VR without the goggles. <laughs> Are we becoming best friends? Don't worry, milady. I'm I'm not one of those internet losers. I'm only <laughs> into 2D. <sighs> this is going to be future. Um, we are that stuff. It'll all be just computerized. No one will go out anymore. Looking for work or looking for fun? Neither. Damn, Miss Mistress Sue would love a girl like you on the payroll. Whatever then, get lost, little girl. Got a light? Uh, yeah, I have actually. Actually, I'm surprised to see someone smoking traditional tobacco. They may be taxed to death, but nothing quite hits the sweet spot like the real thing. <laughs> yeah. I see everyone with them uh, vape pens. Hiya, wow, you're you're a super cutie. Control yourself. I apologize for my Oh, uh, she's Mistress Sue. I apologize for my pets. Direct However, she isn't wrong. Are you looking for something? Someone perhaps? I'm confused then. What what are you asking me? <coughs> she's so cute and feels stirred. Can we keep her? I don't know what you're on about, but I'm not going with you. They've got bunny ears. Like, 
That's a red, not a red flag. I don't know what it is. Hey, I seen you somewhere before. My memory is a bit derez, but you look familiar. That's a bit confusing because I was talking to her, but camera was light over there. Oh no. Let's um continue down the road. I'll not talk to every single character because it'll take forever. But I'll talk to um, now and again. I'll talk to someone. It took 45 minutes to get here because I had to use the old rapid line as if the tunnels being creepy it wasn't enough of a deterrent. Plus my date should be here pretty soon. I have to prove to myself and her that I can do this. Fuwa Jimaya is one of the oldest groceries in the country. It's my favourite part of coming here. Good old uh, grocery shop. Oranges and fruits are usually left by altars as food offerings to feed hungry spirits. Despite the times, the elders in the area seem to still observe the old traditions. I vaguely remember that small bowls of rice were the more common offering, especially for the poor. A Joss paper offering. Someone must have dropped it. These things aren't cheap these days. I'm sure someone is looking for it. Talk to her. Ren. Got a problem? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Did I do something? Are you staring at me like you've got a problem? Huh. Uh, man, were you scared? No. Nope. Bit, bit aggressive, that one. The new volume of NetDiver K comes out in a few days, the professional complainers routinely harass the manga car because of the over-the-top fan service and the impossible proportions. The saddest part is, this loud minority never actually puts their money where their mouth is. Once they get their way, target destroyed, new target found, cycle continues. Anyway, looks like a bobber and manga date this weekend. <laughs> Bit of a commentary on the comics. I think what it was saying is the people who complain about them impossible proportions never actually buy the comics. And so these businesses like suffer, don't they? So artists don't pay attention to them naysayers just do what you want to do another uh, they must be for something if there's a few of them you like hollow resin kits we've got a new net diver kit custom only 250 credits just hop on www.ihastoys.com I don't even know what a resin kit is. Ah, out of my way! Get out of here! I can't do that screaming. My, my throat's a little bit rough at the minute, guys. I'm still overcoming a bit of an illness. So. What the? Huh. So someone ran out of the club. <coughs> Some jerk parked his car in the middle of the street. I must have dropped it when that girl shoved me. I don't care how clumsy you are. No ID, no entry. What's she doing in corner? I recognise her. I think she's one of those vigilantes running around stopping crimes too small for the police to bother with. 
but what is she wearing? <laughs> it don't look like she's got anything on from some angle. She's got a hood on, but uh, cool design anyway. So do we need to get... Uh, is that car actually blocking our way? I'm not sure. Uh, it's a government drone. I'm surprised it's in this part of town actually. Something must be going on. Or maybe it has to do with that crime scene I walked past. That drone is for crowd suppression. It even has a gun built in. The situation must be worse than it looks. Hmm. Let's see if we can find his ID then we go. Oh wait, is that it? Uh just paper offering. Oh wait, it could have fallen under the car. Ah, uh, that... Uh, I can see where this is going. We're going to have to get that car out of the way somehow. He seems to be making an offering. Offering. I can't speak. I shall leave him be. suppose we better speak to these people. The shark swims silently. So I thought you were someone else. My Islanders must have misscanned you. Got some kind of augments? Yes. Another one of them. What's this dude doing? Ah, uh, she's. I think when she sort of says a line like out loud, I think that means you you're actually where you're supposed to be. Uh, tweaker. I thought I told you I'm busy. That car on the corner is it yours? Yeah, that absolute stallion is mine. What of it? Would you mind moving it? I dropped my ID and it went under your car. I'd get it myself, but I can't reach. Sorry, Missy. Can't help you right now. I have my own missing items to find. Ugh, of course, because I, I have no choice. What did you lose? Uh, even though I was a real chud to you. Okay. Uh, I was just leaving the funerary store. But I accidentally left the bag on the roof of my car. By the time I realised the offerings were already scattered down the street. Alright. The Joss paper offerings. We've already seen them, haven't we? What does that sign say up there? Ah, Shiro Tech. So they're the big corporation in uh, this city. There's always like one big evil corporation in the in um, Cyberpunk stuff. What is it in? Uh, like some um, in Blade Runner, it's the Tyrell Corporation in it. And um, <coughs> Roy Batty ends up meeting him. <laughs> I won't say what he does. If by some rare chance you haven't seen Blade Runner. I wouldn't want to ruin the story for you. Um, oh, so we have to burn them, do we? Got to find them first. Yeah, so you can actually see them uh, quite well, like the little orange kind of things. Was that? Ah, yeah, that was one. Um, have I found them all? That's them. Nice dude. Okay, look. I owe you big already, but can you do me one last favour? Please burn the offerings for me. It'll be good for you too. My ancestors will really appreciate knowing who helped me out. Burn them over at the altar by... 
Fua, Jemaya, and Algo Mutakar. Alright. At least this guy didn't uh, mess us around. But it seems like that, anyway. Uh, how do I do it? Um, do, 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 do. do I need to um, cosplay? Oh, you can take off her jacket. That's that's funny. I wonder if there's any secret, like, um, unlockable outfits. How do I get on my inventory? Wait a minute, why have I only got two? I must not have found them. There were like five on me, I thought. Wonder if there's some um, back down the other bit. They're still there, them weirdos. Oh wait, I wonder if it actually was burning them. Oh, putting them on that thing, it's just... It doesn't, like, tell you. <laughs> that would explain why I only had two. No, oh, that was it. It was actually doing it. There, all five offerings taken care of. I should let that guy know. Unfortunately, my right on out of fluid. Hopefully I don't need to burn anything else. Alright, cutscene. <clears throat> well, what the hell? That looked like a ghost to me. Expl explains why it's called a ghost story. Cyberpunk a ghost story. Probably just my eyes bugging out from that ghost slamming to me earlier. I don't know. I think it was more than that. Is he going to move his car then? Do, 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 do. The way is clear, folks. Ah, there's his ID. Alright guys, I think I'll end this one here, but um, if you liked it, give me a like, or uh, if you want to subscribe, 